So Sasha, um, I have this ticket that's open and is there a way that we can automate uh, closing the ticket once the alert is resolved? So yes, Michael, absolutely. Um, have a look at my uh, the alert, which I used. Okay, so here's my note down. And as you remember, the action was send a notification or open a ticket to Sullivan Service Desk. Then the very next step here on my screen is the reset actions. And the reset actions are still sending an email because that's what I used my alert on. And I could just go again create service desk incident. Now, we obviously are not going to create it, but um, we can use the same um, technology here to just update ticket. It's, it's a little bit of tinkering around, so I'm not going to do this in my example, but it would definitely be possible. And it really depends on the organization. If you just want to shoot a quick update, hey, the device is working already, or if you go fully automated, you could have the system uh, close the ticket if, if you prefer, but that really depends on the organization. So let's take a look at the dashboard and see how we can leverage this at a glance view of what's going on in the environment. That way we don't have to live in the incident section of the service desk all the time. So we have our notifications that come to us. We can also set up a widget to identify those tickets that are open for that particular tag. I'm going to come up here and add a widget. I'm going to just do a blank widget, but we do have 90 plus widgets that cover everything from SLAs, statistics, computers, assets, daily work. But I'm going to choose a blank widget right now. We're going to call this our HCO outage. And I'm going to add a filter and I want to filter on the tag where it equals our HCO outage. We'll create that. And then this will give us a widget of those tickets. I think I have another tag also for critical. So let me add that as well. I like how the panic is resolved. It is. So right now it's showing us that the tickets that we have open for HCO outage or critical, they're all resolved. And I could add another filter just to show open tickets only, but this way you can see what this would look like. Now, once I've created this view, this is a custom view. So I'm just going to save the changes and that way this widget is available every time I log in. 